Mike, I will Mike. start this Monday yeah. afternoon with four words for you. Four words. What's that? The AFC. <laughs> okay, that's all I gotta say. The AFC. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Like, power rank the AFC in the aftermath of Matt Ryan going from the Falcons to the Indianapolis Colts for a third round pick in the 2022 draft. Mike, I could make a case right now. We'll talk about the Colts in particular in this trade because it's another example of one team's trash is another team's treasure. The Falcons thought they could upgrade from Matt Ryan. They turn out, turns out that they helped the Colts upgrade from Carson Wentz. So the Colts were a borderline playoff team last year. We all know what happened with the last two games of the season, losing to the Raiders and the Jaguars. But I could make a case, Michael, for any of these 11 teams to make the playoffs in the AFC now with the Colts having added Matt Ryan. In no particular order. Thank you. Kansas Kansas City, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Tennessee, Indianapolis, Los Angeles Chargers, Baltimore, Cleveland, Las Vegas, Denver, and I know you're going to laugh, but the Patriots. Belichick, they made the playoffs last year. I know you would count them out, but I'm just saying they were a 10-win team last year. The only teams at this point that would surprise me if they made the playoffs out of the AFC would be Miami, Pittsburgh, Houston, Jacksonville, and the Jets. Those who I would consider the only long shots in the AFC. So you said something, Michael, after the Raiders yeah. acquired Devontae Adams that I loved. You were like, the AFC West should just qualify yeah. automatically based on participation in the AFC in West. There. Those four teams just automatically be playoff teams, which obviously that wouldn't happen, but I understand and appreciate and agree with the sentiment. I'll take you one step farther. The playoffs should be conference free. Like it should just be the best records. Or just, it's just we just, just pound, we, maybe we just yep. pound rank our way into the playoffs. Or, because not even the, best the seven record. teams that the seven teams that Computer make the playoffs system. in the AFC or something. BCS. Something, yeah. bro. A yeah, that's right. I don't know what it Old is. School. But whoever right. whoever misses the playoffs in the AFC will probably be better than a lot of teams that make the playoffs in the NFC. Yeah, I mean you called it uh, what you called it the other day? The SEC West. Okay. The uh, AFC so, West the SEC West, yeah. A, okay. So, so what's the AFC? The SC, so it right. Is five hundred in the SEC West better than uh, undefeated in the big sky. You know, I mean, you just got to you got to factor it that way. And so you look at all these teams that are that are making big moves and they're going to be competitive. I actually think an open seating conference free. Okay, here we go. Based Forget on our it. computer, based on our <laughs> system. I'm this is the number you. one seed. I mean, I could actually could be interesting. This, but this, be is, great, this is the Western great Conference to, to the NBA's Eastern Conference. Remember all those years where the Western Conference was just so much just, better than right, the Eastern stacked. Conference? Like, that's what this is now, man. The balance of power has shifted something serious. Think about these teams that didn't make the playoffs last year and what they've done. So mm-hmm. Denver misses the playoffs last year. Seven wins for right, Denver. Right, they get Russ. Uh, yep. Cleveland, Cleveland got eight wins last year. And they uh, get Indianapolis yep. with nine. Nine All upgraded wins, at quarterback. Matt Ryan. Yep. So yep. Uh, uh, yep. teams and the teams that didn't the necessarily char- the Chargers get a defense. You yeah, know? The Chargers, Chargers, <laughs> I mean, were, Chargers were all set at quarterback. I think about some of the teams that didn't make any moves at quarterback. Well, hey, we don't know what Zach Wilson's going to be in year two. Zach Wilson might just jump up in year two. Trevor Lawrence might jump up. In I know year you two. love now what he, the Jags yeah. did in general. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you got a lot. The only team that you look at a quarterback and go, I really don't know what y'all doing. I really don't know what y'all doing. That's Pittsburgh. And I know you like Mitch Trubisky uh, and Mason Rudolph. Uh, but that, I mean, really, the only when team. When you say the only team, you mean, you, mean the only board, you mean only borderline contending team is what you mean. Because it's like, no, you know, the only Miami's, team. Okay. My, oh, oh, ooh, you're not, you're not feeling too well? Well, yeah, no, but I mean, I don't know but, but okay. But, but I'll say this. No, I'm, and a lot of people are in Miami, but I will say this though. I think uh, I, but I, but your point is well taken. It's like at least you know why Miami is committed to the former fifth overall pick. You get that. You get why Houston is sticking with Davis Mills. You get why Jacksonville and New York are sticking with their quarterback. The only team that's got a clear quarterback question mark now in the AFC is in fact the Pittsburgh Steelers. Every other team that's in it. the AFC has a firm emphatic answer at quarterback Patrick Mahomes yep. Josh Allen Joe Burrow Ryan Tannehill Matt Ryan Mac Jones uh, Justin Herbert Lamar Jackson Deshaun Watson Derek Carr Russell Wilson 
Two was the fifth overall pick. We'll see. But Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Davis Mills. I mean, you, you're right. Pittsburgh is the only team I mean, that you're like, okay, so what y'all going to do? No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're right. And, and can I say this? Can I say this about, about my guy? My guy, Matt Ryan. Boston the, the College's word, own Matty Ice? Yeah, the, the word underrated is overused, but he really is an underrated uh, quarterback. And I think part of it is, part of it is where he played. Uh, in Atlanta, I think part of it not not that it's a small city. A, no, a small no, market. No, that's got nothing to do with it. That's got nothing to do with it. This but, is cut, cut right. To I don't it. know. Cut right to it. What cut is right to it? What if, is if Matt Ryan? Well, is, you tell me. If Matt Ryan is underrated, if he is in fact underrated, is. which I disagree he with, is. I like him. He is. So maybe I don't. I don't think. Maybe I don't think he's underrated because I hold him in high regard. But if he is underrated, it's for one reason and one reason only. What's Twenty-eight that? to three. 28 to 3. <laughs> I mean, well, it, he didn't do it because the difference is if he well, has a Super Bowl, he's already a league MVP. If he is a Super Bowl you know winner, is? then there's a whole different opinion about Matt Ryan. Whole different opinion. Well, okay, you you hold him in high regard, and I guess maybe you're you're rare holding him in high in high in the highest regard. And in other, in other words, let me ask you this. When mm -hmm. you look at uh, they're different players, and I think they have different skill sets, but one guy played professionally in Georgia and one guy played collegiately in Georgia, Matthew Stafford. You look at Matthew Stafford and Matt Ryan kind of on an equal plane. Yes, and I think a lot of people okay. did. They're also good friends, good. if I'm not mistaken. A lot of people and did. Good. And up until this year, when Matt Stafford, congrats on your extension, by the way, created some separation. If Matt Ryan had an MVP to go along with that, a Super Bowl to go along with that MVP, I don't think people would be underrating Matt Ryan. I think people who watch yeah, Matt see, Ryan, I, yeah, he's, oh, been, thought, he's had some turnover issues and he's been flawed, but he's a really, really, really good quarterback. Better than Carson thought, Wentz. What you, and well, probably yeah, better uh, what, than probably I'm better than what Philip Rivers was. I think he's better than what Philip Rivers was when better. Indianapolis got Philip Rivers. When Indianapolis much got better. That's just what I'm saying. That's, that's why like, when, you, when you're saying when you're saying that, when you're saying that, like, hey, better than Carson Wentz, I'm like, yeah, oh my God, yes. Well, no, that's uh, better no, than obvious, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah he's, okay. he's he's an upgrade, I'm, definitely clear upgrade. But I thought you were going to say, Rock. what I thought you were going to say is when we talk, talk start talking about Matthew Stafford, that's why I asked you the question. Mm -hmm. That you know, a lot of people guilty right here, uh, a lot of people kind of slept on Matthew Stafford because of Detroit, because of no playoff wins, uh, because of all the derisive nicknames. Uh, Pat Stafford, which I never called him, by the way, I never called him that. But I was doubtful. <laughs> I was doubtful. <laughs> I, I, I was doubtful about his makeup a little bit, and now I'm sitting here saying, "Oh, I, I got him wrong." And I think Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan is in the same category. Twenty-eight to three is not his fault, by the way. That's not his not fault. All, no, no, he no, had, no, not a, yeah, no. He that's had my point. he had a couple of questionable plays in the game, a couple of them. But if you go back and look at. Uh, his performance in that game, he actually well, he shouldn't have been well. throwing at the end anyway. That's the big. Right. He should have been throwing at the end. Blame the play caller. He should have been throwing at all at the end of, the end of that game to get sacked by Dante Hightower. You know, but bottom line yeah. is, it's like it just—it's crazy how life works. Where the Falcons, they're 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 border, they're, they're they're legendary quarterback, best quarterback in franchise history. They sit up there and plainly and openly Ooh. say, Ooh, "We I'd would like rather." It. That's not a hot take, is it? I didn't say most popular quarterback in franchise history. I said best quarterback in franchise history. So, I, yeah. So I, they plainly flirt with their former ball boy in Deshaun Watson, and then Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, playing it cool, laying in the cut, not posting nothing on the social media, right. just chilling like, hey, it's time to move on. So now the Falcons take a forty million dollar cap hit and move him to the Colts, who already last year, remember with Carson Wentz, they were a trendy preseason pick. And down the stretch, it was like, oh my goodness, could the Colts be dangerous? You had Matt Ryan to Jonathan Taylor with that defense, that offensive line. I mean, dude, dude. This, I mean, this isn't this isn't a Russell Wilson level trade, but I would argue. Okay, how about this? Just, just I'm just spitballing here. Even though Matt Ryan isn't as good as Russell Wilson, would you agree that Matt Ryan is going to the better team than Russell Wilson went to? Wow, arguably, Ooh, I don't one know. One could argue because the yeah, Colts, yeah, I, I, like, I think it's but for Carson Wentz, the Colts were really good. Yeah, yeah, and that's not to crap on Denver and the supporting cast that Russell Wilson inherits. It's close. All right, toss up. Go ahead. 
Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I like this for, for Matt Ryan. And you, you talk about the best franchise and uh, the best quarterback in franchise history. I think he is. I think he is. I mean, who, who else would be uh, Michael Vick or uh, Steve Burkowski or somebody like that, you know, right. going back in the day. But, um, but I just have a lot of respect for what Matt Ryan was able to do in his career. And he comes into a situation where Atlanta, uh, that franchise is in shambles. You know, Michael Vick, mm-hmm. they put a lot of it. They invested a lot in him. They believed in him. Yeah. Arthur B- Blank loved him. It's still one of my favorite pictures. Probably not one of Arthur Blank's. Is is uh, is him kind of like pushing uh, Mike Vick in a wheelchair, you know, uh, when he had the broken oh, leg? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. So he really he be- he believed him when 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 Vick told him, "Hey, I didn't do anything wrong." Arthur Blank believed in him, and so the franchise just really was down and out. Bobby Petrino bounced for Arkansas. They had a lot of things go wrong, and Matt Ryan. First draft pick, our buddy Thomas Dimitrov of his uh, yep. general managing yep. career, yep. was Matt Third Ryan. Overall. First touch, uh, first yep. pass, first pass he threw. First pass was a touchdown pass. Michael J- Michael Jenkins was it? Michael Jenkins. Michael Jenkins. Shout out Ohio yeah. State. What's yeah. up, Ohio State? Yeah. Um, yeah. So he has just been steady. He's been steady. He's been That's more it. than steady though. He's been very yeah. good. Here's to the guy who yes. hits. He's been hitting doubles and triples. Bringing a little baseball. He is, doubles and he is in the every hall, time he's at, at bat. He is in the contemporary hall of very good. That's the perfect way to describe him. Yet I wouldn't call him great. He's had great moments. He certainly had a great 2016 season, but he is very, very good at times. Four-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, consistent. You know, you know, he started. I don't know that he's missed the game. And durable. And durable. I was about to he's say, I'm looking at it right now. In his career. 20, three. He missed two in 2009, one in 2019. And yes, one in, three games yep, in his it. entire career. Yes, three games in his entire career. And just, you know what you're getting in terms of leadership? All, and, and listen, you can say what you want about what Matt Ryan's arm strength is at this point in his career, what his physical abilities at, the, at, at this point in his career are. One thing you cannot argue with, and this, this was a big part of Carson Wentz, uh, the Colts falling out of love with Carson Wentz after one year, the intangibles or lack thereof. What, uh, you cannot question the locker room presence and the leadership that Matt Ryan is going to bring to the Indianapolis Colts. So they've upgraded on the field, they've upgraded in the locker room, and they are squarely in the mix for contender conversation in the AFC. Now, I, and I know, look, Mike, I know we we are, we can't help it. We don't even know how we're overreacting. We are overreacting. Are we? Are we overreacting? To, to, the, to the depth of the AFC. We are because are the way I feel right now, I know this is just can't be real. The way I feel right now is there's not a team in the AFC that doesn't intrigue me. I'm interested if you just throw it. If, if we got some cards here, you throw me three cards of teams. I'm interested in each of those teams. And I, that's just not okay. That's not realistic. There's going to be a team. There's, there's going to be a dud in there. One of these trades is not going to work out. Somebody's going to disappoint. Somebody has more holes than we're giving them credit for. Uh, everybody doesn't appear. Everybody is not as solid and as contender-ish as okay, we are no, saying can here we, in March. Can, I, I love where you're going here. Can we, can we? Let's play this game. All right. Okay. Let's. The other five. The others. Miami's intrigued the because they got Tua and they have a new coach. So we'll, you know, we'll see if Miami can get it turned around. Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh. And even I know you don't like right. Mr. Trubisky very much, but with that defense, we'll we'll see what they do on offense. We'll see how they address the quarterback position. Maybe and I, maybe I a should, quarterback you know, I as a correction. Matt Ryan. Can what? I make a correction real quick on Mr. Trubisky? Yeah. Sure. He's gonna be great for the scout team. I mean, like he's gonna be a great. Scout maybe the team Pittsburgh. Maybe the Pittsburgh Steelers draft a quarterback who has a Matt Ryan type effect, the way that Ryan did his rookie year. In Atlanta, where he stepped into a situation with a lot of help from a, from a supporting cast, and he elevated them, and they were able to be a playoff team his rookie year. So maybe Pittsburgh can he pick gets it? the jackpot with a rookie quarterback. You know what I mean? Can okay, he maybe right they stay, the stay local. All right, Houston's interesting because of their long term, and we'll see if they develop Davis Mills and because of all the picks they got. And that's what I mean by the long term. That's what I mean. And then Jacksonville and New York, specifically Jacksonville, with how active they were in free agency. And they were better than their record was last year. We'll see what they could do. But I'd love to just real quick with the time we got left in this segment. 
Um, we don't have a clock, but I'm gonna say like in the next two minutes. I'm gonna just go down the list and just just real quick. Just say if like they're a lock for the playoffs or you're not so sure because I, I, I agree with your point. Everybody can't make it. Everybody can't go circle gets small. Everybody can't go. All right. You ready? Kansas City. Yeah, I'm ready. Lock. Kansas City. Buffalo. Lock. Lock. Cincinnati. C Cincinnati. Don't you uh, dare. Not a lock. You know what? Not I should have known. T Tennessee. No. Not Tennessee. They, they, can, Tennessee. They, went to the, they went to the Super Bowl last okay. year. That's T what, Tennessee. That's what's in the all, right, all right. Okay. And, and you're a hater. Tennessee. Lock. I know you love you love your Titans. You're locking lock. the Tennessee in. All right. I got three. Indianapolis. Three. That's three. It, that's three. Indianapolis. Not a lock. Not a lock. Okay. No. I already know your answer on the Patriots. No. You probably no, got the Patriots at the, at the bottom of the conference four, at this point. Four, four and 13. <laughs> Five and four 12. and 13. Jeez. Five and 12. That bad. Golly. Okay. Bad. Mark that down. We're going to have to run that back sooner or later. Uh, Chargers. Not a lock. Mm. No. Baltimore. Baltimore. Let me change Cincinnati. I'm gonna change Cincinnati to a lock. Baltimore not a lock. Oh, Pittsburgh. How gracious not a lock. of you. We, we right. know we need somebody in the AFC because AFC okay. North and, and Cleveland. Cle wait, Cleveland. Not suspension a lock. notwithstanding. Suspension notwithstanding. Okay, just on paper right now. Don't don't even factor in the suspension. Even no, even you can't. So well, you, I, no, I have to. No, I'm just no, I'm just talking, I'm about, saying, I'm just okay. talking about the roster. No, I'm just about the roster. Okay. I'm just talking about the roster. Just the roster. The suspension changes everything. Just like an injury would change. Anything with any right. of these people, you know what I mean? So I'm saying just the roster Watson suspension notwithstanding would you would you put Cleveland as a lock with the talent that they have? No, no, no. Okay. No, L Las Vegas no. Las Vegas No <laughs> You ain't even got a enough. Lock. You I mean, ain't even put enough team in the playoffs. Okay, Denver. how many I got there? I got four. <laughs> how many do I have? Four? You got like four. You got <laughs> What about Denver? What about the, you said Denver was the best team in the AFC West? Russell Wilson, winner, lock, winner. Okay, Everywhere so you got so you winner. definitely you have Denver, you have Denver, Kansas Tennessee, City, Tennessee, you have Denver, Tennessee. Kansas City, Buffalo, Tennessee, and Cincinnati. How many is that? That's five. I got five or six. Denver, okay, Kansas right. City, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Tennessee. So that leaves two spots open. All right, roll the music, Gary. Is there anybody out of Miami, Pittsburgh, Houston, Jacksonville, or the Jets that you can see? Crashing at who, who is it? Duval. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Duval. So, you got, so yeah. Jacksonville is your surprise team. All right. Jacksonville is your surprise team. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.